Welcome Leo to your you versus them tarot reading. For those of you that are new to the channel, I'd like to welcome you guys. And for those of you returning, welcome back guys. And of course, thanks for your continuous support. So the reading that I'm doing here, it is going to be a general tarot spread and it probably won't resonate with everyone. So please take the bits that resonate with you and discard the rest. Or perhaps you may be interested in a personal tarot reading with me. If so, please feel free to inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here in the show more section along with all the different types of readings that I offer. Okay, so I did shuffle the cards off camera beforehand, hope you don't mind, it's just to save us a little bit of time here with the reading. I've laid out two piles. On the left here is uh, your energy, so that's your pile. On the right over there is the um, pile of your special someone. So we're going to take a look at both your energies and see what's going on with you emotionally, mentally, and just overall, right? So for your section over here, you've got the Eight of Wands in reverse, the Nine of Swords, Five of Cups, the Eight of, Eight of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, but in reverse. Okay, you've got a few cards in reverse. And the Eight of Cups. Okay, interesting. Um, okay, Leo, I can see that you're feeling very let down by a connection or you're feel, feeling very let down by this person. You feel as though this person is acting a little bit cold or a little bit different towards you lately, okay? Maybe communication here isn't the same. Maybe you feel like something is off, but you don't have enough evidence to support what it is that you're feeling, all right? Yeah, there's definitely something going on here, okay? You feel as though something going on here, so much so that I feel like you may be losing sleep over this, or you just feel like really restless and just you feel really bothered by it. With the Five of Cups, I feel like maybe you're doing a lot of reflecting and um, thinking back on things, okay? This person might not necessarily be communicating with you as much as you want them to. Or they may be communicating with you very little, if at all. And I feel like you're thinking, okay, is it something you said? What was the last thing you said to them? Is it the way that you said it? The tone with which you said it? You're like trying to go over things in your head. That's overanalyzing. Don't do that. You're going to drive yourself crazy. Okay, you just, it's going to get from bad to worse, okay, because I feel like you're putting too much pressure on yourself. Um, with the Eight of Wands in reverse like that, this person's definitely, you know, they've come on very, uh, very strong in the beginning. This is someone who you felt was really into you, um, was very attracted to you, um, and they've obviously made it known, right? They were very forward about it. Uh, it, it gave you the impression that the connection was going to happen very quickly because things just manifested very quickly between the two of you and then something happened and that something is what freaked you out a little, a little bit because oh a little bit because then all of a sudden it seemed as though things stalled okay it seemed as though this person wasn't as interested or you know they started backing off a little bit so this is where I feel like this is what's leaving you feeling a little bit uh, frazzled the Eight of Swords here, I feel like you're not necessarily wanting to confront them, right? Because I feel as though you feel there is something going on here, but you don't know what it is exactly, okay? And you don't want to come across as a little bit, you don't want to come across as needy or let them know that you're overanalyzing or looking into it too much, even though that's exactly what you're doing, right? Um, the Six of Pentacles in reverse, yeah, you just, right now, it was very... It was very balanced, but right now you feel as though that imbalance, that equilibrium, that, you know, the scales here have been tipped and not necessarily in your favor. It's not a very favorable um, here with what's going on. The Eight of Cups, you feel as though this person is pulling away from you emotionally. You're just not getting the intention from them or you just, you feel like their energy, like when they're with you, they're there, but they're not really there. And they're um, like, there's something missing here. There is something missing here and the energies are just aren't as warm. It's not, it's not what it used to be. You feel something's going on here is what you, you're feeling. Okay. There's something going on here. Um, I'm big on intuition, so if your intuition is telling you something is going on here, it's probably because there is, okay? And just because you don't have evidence to support it doesn't mean you should discount or dismiss it. So if you're feeling a certain way, definitely, um, you know, rate, uh, bring it up with them, okay? There's no reason for you to drive yourself insane here, okay? I feel like, yeah, you should voice yourself, vocalize yourself. Now move over to their energy here. 
And they have the Page of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Page of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Lovers, and the Ace of Wands. I feel like this person ha exudes a bit of a younger energy. So look, they could be younger than you or they just could be um, on a different emotional mature, uh, maturity level than you. I feel like this person is someone who likes to move around fully, freely. I don't feel like this is someone who... Like, they feel a strong attraction with you. They feel very attracted to you. They're very um, drawn to you. They're interested in you. But at the same time, I can see that this person... Because they're in love of freedom, I don't know that they're really keen on a relationship, okay? I don't know that they're keen on commitment. I don't know that they're keen to explore this in too much detail. I just feel like this is someone who wants a little bit of fun, um, who's after an excitement and adventure. They're not after marriage. They're not after commitment, Leo, okay? Um, yeah, I just feel like this is someone whom... They could have like a bit of a player energy to them, okay? Or this is someone who isn't big on relationships. They might have not even had any long-term relationships in the past. There's something about this person that I'm getting is non-committal. With the Three of Cups, I do see some other energy around them. I feel like this person may be talking to someone else, maybe chatting up someone else. Um, yeah, I feel like they're, you know, if they are, if they are a male, they get a lot of female attention, is what I'm seeing. Are quite handsome, quite good looking, and yeah, I see them getting a lot of attention here. Um, okay. I feel like they there's something that's happened between the two of you recently um, that they've overreacted to. I feel like yeah, they've overreacted to a little bit. They've um, or they feel as though you you overreacted, right? Someone's overreacted. Something's happened between your conversation or something that's happened between you. They felt as though you uh, reacted uh, a little bit over the top here. Okay. Um, the lover's card. Yeah, I feel like this person has an infatuation with you. They have an attraction with you. But I don't know that they want to extend, um, you know, extend beyond this. I don't know that they're interested in marriage or commitment, or at least not yet anyways. Okay. I feel like right now they just want to... Um, you know, they just want to go with the flow and just uh, see what happens here. You know, no pressure sort of thing. The Page of Swords, they're not communicating, right? They're not communicating, which is what's freaking you out. Yeah, they're not communicating with you, but you know what? There will be communication on their end. I just feel like right now, um, yeah, I just feel like they're sort of doing their own thing. I, Like I said, I don't know that this person wants relationship or wants commitment. So how you think and how they think are like... Chalk and cheese, they're very different, right? But they are going to reach out. They are going to come in with a message of some sort, okay? Um, look, they're interested in you. Romantically speaking, they are interested in you. It's just that the two of you might want different things. You might want commitment. You want, might want a relationship. They might want a bit of fun. They might want to see where it goes from here. Like, just go with it. They don't necessarily want to slap a title to it, put a label on it. Yeah, I just feel like this person is a little bit, they move, they like to move around freely. I can see they have options around them. I can see that um, this is someone who's a bit of a magnet for admirers. They attract a lot of admirers, see someone very good looking or someone who's got a lot of charisma here. Um, with the five of ones, they can sometimes, they sometimes think that maybe some, you could be a little bit of, what scares them is that you could be a little bit hard work or, or relationships are a bit high maintenance and I feel like that may put them off a little bit. Um, there's also some tension or disagreement that you guys had, okay? Or maybe they just misunderstood you. Maybe there was some sort of communication that you've had in the past um, before they stopped communicating with you or before they stopped this proper communication. Uh, I feel like, yeah, there was some tension here or some aggression or power struggle, um, some conflict here. Or perhaps at least they misunderstood it to be that way, okay? So, and I feel like maybe that's also as the reason as to why they're not reaching out right now. I feel like they're a little bit stubborn here. They're not playing mind games, but I feel like they lack that emotional maturity, to be honest with you. I do. I feel like this person, um, I don't know that they've done many long-term relationships. I don't know that they're familiar with how relationships work. I just, or maybe they're just not really, you know, they're not after one is what's happening, okay? And... Maybe the fact that they're acting a little bit cold and distant is their way of sh is their way of you know trying to um, send you a message that they're not after a relationship. But look, they'll be back. Okay, if you guys aren't talking right now, they'll come back. 
they're also holding something back from you, which I believe is communication, okay? So here they are coming back. They've got something to tell you, which I feel like might take you by surprise, which I feel like might surprise you, but in a good way. It won't, it's not like it's going to shock you here or rock you um, or startle you. I just feel like they're coming in with some offer. They could ask you out on a date. Um, yeah, I feel like there's something here that they're wanting to present to you. They could let you, they could open up to you emotionally. They could let you know just how, um, just how much they fancy you. There's something here that this person wants to let you know. Some sort of message, some sort of passionate message, a message of love, an offer, a romantic offer of some sort here. Okay. Um, they do have this fun, flirty energy to them. They do have this, you know, moving around freely, this laid back energy, but I just feel like it's part of the energy. This, yeah, I don't, yeah, I feel like this, because the Page of Swords is a non-conformist. He's not someone who conforms to tradition. So I don't know that they're after a relationship, but you never know, that might change. You just may be the one to change their mind here, Leo. You never know. Um, so don't dismiss or discount this too early. But there you have it, guys. As always, thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, by liking, commenting, or sharing. For those of you who are interested in a personal tarot spread, feel free to email me. Otherwise, take care, guys. I'll catch up with you next week.